Hello everybody and welcome back to Sophisticates by Mary. For this tutorial I'm going to show you how I made this very unique hand painted buttercream modern galaxy cake. This also featured a drip and some geometric shaped marbled topper pieces with some astrological influences. So if this sounds interesting to you please stick around we'll get right to it after the intro. So I always start my cakes with any pieces that might need more drying time. So that would be the topper pieces. So I am just taking some gum paste that I have colors, I have gray and I have white and I just put in some black with a toothpick to give it some more, some more variation in color. Now I just roll this out to about a, mm, an eighth of an inch thick and I'm just using this clay cutting tool to cut out some geometric patterns. Mostly triangle shapes, but um, a few other just different types of shapes. And I'm going to do different tonal values of the same colors. I wanted to have some darker, some black, and then some lighter marbled. So once I did my darker marbled, I went and added some more white to it and lightened it up and I'm doing the same thing. And then I took whatever I had left over from that and added black to it so that I am not wasting any more gum paste than I have to. And I also made some little moon shapes. And to do that, I'm just using round cutters. Two different sizes of round cutters and some piping tips to cut out, cut out the part of the moon that will make it a crescent shape. And once I had them cut, I like to use the cutters that I used to just reinforce the shape. And that's what I'm doing there. If you put the circular cutter for the outside shape around it after it's cut and just kind of wiggle it around, it'll um, get it back into that circular shape again. And I also did some other geometric shapes out of the same gum paste. And then I wanted to add a little texture to a couple of them, at least one. So I just used my, um, my flower mold, the one that leaves the impression, the flower impression petal mold, um, just to add some different texture to it. And I also just used some random silicone molds that I had, which is different, different patterns. Um, some of them are flower centers and some of them are, um, gem molds. You can use whatever you want. You can make it whatever you want. And then to get these um, pieces for the top to stand up, I'm just using a skewer with some, um, some gum glue, which is gum paste with water, and just attaching them with some another piece of the gum paste. So now we're going to actually assemble the cake. And once you... Get those other pieces done, the decorative pieces done. Just set them aside on a foam, piece of foam, and just let them dry for um, you know a couple of days if you need to. So I am just using some thickened buttercream to dam these tiers, these layers, so that the filling doesn't spill out. And then add your filling, and then add a crumb coat. And I'm doing the same thing for both cakes. Now I have other videos where I go a little bit more in depth with the details of assembling the cake. For this particular design, there are a lot of elements to it. So I wanted to show you how I assemble the cake, but focus more on the design itself. So both of the cakes are the same. They have a dam and then a filling and then add your next tier and do as many of those as you choose to make your cake as tall as you want it to be. And then use some buttercream to do a crumb coat. Then set it in the refrigerator for 20 minutes after you've smoothed it out for 20 minutes in the refrigerator or 10 minutes in the freezer. And then you can go back in and do your final layers of a buttercream. Now for this cake, they wanted a more kind of a jade, deep, deep green for the buttercream color. And we did a lot of mixing to get this color. We couldn't, we didn't have this exact color. So we just had to um, use what we had 
to get it to the depth that we wanted. Now this is my first layer of buttercream and um, I know that there are a couple holes in it and that's okay because I'm going to go back and do another layer after these have firmed up. And I did the exact same thing for the bottom tier. Just get them as smooth as you can just so that you're not wrestling with it later. I like to do thinner layers and more of them with some chilling time in between to get my, my cakes to be as crisp of a corner and level the, the sides and the top as much as possible. It's a little easier to manage, I feel, if you do it that way. Now I do know that you do see some, some lines in this buttercream. Um, what happens, and I've had a couple of people ask me about this, what happens is once you've chilled it and you do your next layer of buttercream, sometimes you actually scrape down to that first layer of buttercream since your layers are thinner of, you know, on the cakes. And that's okay for this design because it didn't really matter. And in general, nobody's gonna really see that. And you can't really fix that once it's on, so you just have to accept it as part of the design. Now, if you're really good at making sure your first coat is as smooth and as perfect as you want it, then don't worry about it. Now, once these have dried, I am adding some luster dust. I'm using silver and gold on these. And I first brushed some shortening on them so that the luster dust will stick to them and also that adds some shine. You could dry dust it on there without the shortening, but you're not gonna get that shine like you do with, with the um, shortening underneath. And I wanted to include, bring that green color into the topper as well. So I'm just using a dry dust. I'm just dry dusting that on, just like within the veins of the marbling, just to bring that in a little bit. And they wanted to include, I thought this was neat, they wanted to include their astrological signs. So I'm just using gold luster dust that I mixed with Everclear to make a paint out of it to paint on their astrological signs onto a couple of the topper pieces. So this part was really fun for me. I was trying to make kind of like a Milky Way galaxy type feel to this line of color. This is just, I started with white, white food coloring with a little bit of Everclear. Um, and I'm just using a pastry brush. You know, if you watch my videos, you know I like to use a pastry brush to add texture and color to the cakes. Um, and I'm just pouncing it on the cake, adding layers, at, you know, at a time, add a little bit. You can always add more. It's hard to take away. So go with a little bit at first and add more where, where you want it and then add more after that. Do it step by step. Don't try to get it all done um, at one time necessarily. I mean, I didn't step away from this. I just kind of did the design in the lighter and then went back and added more. And then I went back and added more. So then I also wanted to have more speckles within it too. So that it looks like, you know how the Milky Way has a milky look and then you can see stars within that. That was kind of what I was going for. Now I paint, but I am an abstract artist more with um, flow acrylic. So this type of painting is probably about the best you're gonna get from me on a cake. <laughs> I can make 3D things. I just have a hard time drawing them or painting them. But this type I can do. This is more a matter of layering. It looks intimidating, but really when you break it down, it's really not that hard. And then I added some gold also to tie it all together. And you know how I feel about gold. I love me some gold. And just add a little sparkle to it since this is actually a wedding cake. And the room that this cake was going into is called actually called the gold room at a local um, hotel, very fancy hotel that I've delivered and done cakes for a lot. Um, so the gold theme seems to always get worked into the cakes that get delivered there. And here I'm just doing a chocolate drip. I did not go with, I was going to paint it gold. I did paint this gold and I, you could go in and color your drip, but I have found that actually it's, it's fine. You can paint over it without, um, adding color to it. Unless you want a real, a, a deeper shade of gold, I guess is a good way to put it. Like you could do gold on top of black and you get a really intense gold color. You're still gonna get gold when you paint it on white, just not as intense. And here is where I am adding that gold. After I had assembled 
the topper pieces. I just kind of started with my taller ones, the ones that I wanted to see with the astrological signs on it, and added the other pieces around it so that those were still visible. Now this paint that I'm using, like I said, I think I said, is just um, gold luster dust mis mixed with Everclear. You can use vodka or you can also use lemon extract. Works fine too. Um, I just find you get more intensity, intensity of color if you use the Everclear. And I'm using or more of a fine tipped, not fine, I guess it's a medium tipped brush to uh, paint the drip. If you use too wide of a brush, I feel like it's a little harder to aim. <laughs> if you use too small of a brush, you're spending a lot more time doing it. So this is kind of a rounder tipped, almost pointed tipped, medium size, medium to small size paint brush. That's just what I prefer. And then I'm just using my X-Acto knife to clean up any spots where you get it on the buttercream and it happens. I'm just attaching these other little details with some buttercream. Just a little buttercream on the back. You could use piping gel, but I find sometimes that makes it want to slip down the cake. So I don't like to use that for anything that has any weight to it. Not that these have a lot of weight, but I had the bag of buttercream right there. So I just went ahead and I used that. And just adding a few more to the top, just to round it out. So there you go, guys. This is my hand-painted, galaxy-inspired, astrological-inspired <laughs> wedding cake. I hope you like what you saw, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I'm uploading, and I know that not, most of you have not subscribed, so please take the time to do that. And we'll catch you on the next time. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Bye.